Hello and welcome back to my channel, Home to Inspire DIY and Decor. My name is Gwen and today I'm sharing some simple farmhouse everyday decor using mostly Dollar Tree supplies. Let's get on to the video. The first project I will be using mostly Dollar Tree supplies as I mentioned. Um, one is the cathedral wall decor, a wall art that I just removed the picture from it and used the outer frame a piece of wood panel that came in a six pack by Crafter Square, a wood slat that I cut to size, some spackling, and then I also used some steel Waverly chalk paint to paint this piece of wood as well as the frame. When all the pieces were painted and fully dried, I took the small piece of wood slat using some tight bond glue as well as hot glue and just gave it a good coat on either sides as well as the bottom piece that will be attaching to the frame. And this will be the support for the shelf. and it will also add height to the shelf so that there isn't um, too much space or gap between the cathedral window and the bottom piece. Now this piece I went ahead and attached using the same method, hot glue and tight bond glue, just attaching it to the wood slat. I just added additional hot glue to the seams where I felt it needed extra support and also more type on glue. Next I took this cathedral window and was trying to decide the placement of it. It didn't fit snugly into the center space. So I had to decide how I wanted to attach this, whether this was gonna be in the front of the frame or behind the frame. I went ahead and attached the cathedral window to the front of the frame, gluing it to the base of that wood ledge, as well as the top of that wood frame. Off camera, I did attach some half wood beads from Amazon. And I also attached a bow that I created as well as some jute ribbon to the center. And here is the finished look. The next project, uh, once again, will be mostly using Dollar Tree supplies. I took two of those wood trays and two of the cathedral windows once again. I painted these pieces with some white Waverly chalk paint, but as you see, um, both these trays are missing the one side because I broke off the one side of each of them so I can create a longer piece. And off camera, um, I wasn't able to record me attaching these two trays together to elongate the piece, but I did use the piece that I broke off from each side as a way to attach these two together. And for added support, I took two wood planks that came in a six pack from Crafter Square and used it in the base of each tray. And after painting all the wood pieces and gluing them together, 
I took some of this crafter square fabric from the Dollar Tree. It has a, a bee design on it with some mason jars. And I cut strips to fit the sides of the wood tray. I only did this with two sides opposite each other. And using Mod Podge, I went ahead and glued those on. I also used some of the Crafter Square faux leather ribbon in the color black. And I cut strips to fit the center of each of the fabrics. That way all you can see is the, the outer edges of the fabric and the black is what makes up most of that design in the middle of the tray. Just using some hot glue, I went ahead and attached these pieces to either side. And as an embellishment, I took two half wood beads, painted it in the color white by Waverly, and added them to each side of the leather trim. I did this to both sides, so I actually used four half wood beads. Using some hot glue, I just went ahead and attached those. I also forgot to mention that these two cathedral window decor, I did spray paint them in a matte black earlier on, and by now they were fully dry. The next step was to attach these cathedral windows to each side of the wood tray. Next, I took more of that Crafter Square faux leather black ribbon and I cut two strips and I attached them on each side, connecting the two cathedral windows using some hot glue. And off camera, I went ahead and reused the wording that came with a cathedral window. I went ahead and hot glued the wording from the cathedral window onto the middle of this box. 
I think this came out really nice and I hope you guys like it. And let's get on to the next one. This is DIY number three. Taking some more of the Dollar Tree items. I'm using one of their picture frames with the design. I just went ahead and covered that design using some of the fabric that Dollar Tree carries in this farmhouse sort of ticking stripe. Using some of the Elmer spray glue, I went ahead and attached the fabric to the backing of the picture frame. I also took some of the metal barbecue grill covers and cut it to fit the size of the frame so that it mimics the look of chicken wire. And I used that metal barbecue grate slash chicken wire to cover the ticking fabric and inserted it back into the frame. Here you see me trimming off some of that metal grate so it would fit snugly into the frame. And once I had that all done, I went ahead and put those prongs down to secure everything. And as you see right here, the piece of wood got detached, so I had to do some gluing. Next, I took this piece of wood slat, also from the Dollar Tree, gave it a good staining of the Waverly Antique Wax. And I took some of this leftover wall hooks that came from Lowe's, just attaching it with some screws to the wood slat. And the wood slat was attached to the metal frame using some of this tight bond glue, as well as some hot glue. Just pressing it firmly into that wood grate so it would attach not only to the grate but to the fabric. And you can, of course, secure this more using maybe some brad nails or something maybe if you attach it to the sides so that it will hold more steadily but just for video purposes you know I was trying to go um, the quicker route without having to pull out the power tools then I found this home sign from Dollar Tree and using the same glue I went ahead and attached that to the center of that chicken wire and this project is pretty much complete. This is a very simple and quick DIY. And this can be used as a key holder or holding anything decorative like wood beads or anything of that sort. So here I just leaned it against something and then I also hung it up to show you what it looks like. And I think it came out really cute, very farmhousey. And I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And on to our fourth and final DIY of the day. So I used one of those wheels that came from Dollar Tree, along with some greenery from Joann's, fabric from Dollar Tree, and some rub-on transfers also from Dollar Tree. So again, this is mostly a Dollar Tree DIY, with the exception of some paints and some of the greenery. So firstly, um, off camera, I did attach that tire or that wheel to a piece of floral foam. I just simply pressed it firmly into the floral foam, trying to get it as centered as possible. It did tend to lean forward a little bit, so I did try to push it back a little bit and I used some small zip ties to attach to the floral foam and to act as a support for the wheel to prevent it from leaning too forward. It did help out a little bit. 
but next time um, in hindsight I would probably attach the wheel a little bit further back on the foam so that it doesn't want to fall forward as much so that's a takeaway if you want to try this project um, that's something that you might want to do instead of what I did as you can see here I am attaching all of the greenery pieces to the wheel just using an alternating pattern using some zip ties and I just made adjustments to the lengths as needed. And I did forget to mention that the floral foam at the bottom of the wheel was wrapped in the fabric that came from Dollar Tree. I didn't fully glue or secure it tightly um, until the very end. Next, I took one of these wreath charms that came from Dollar Tree and I gave it a coat of the moss color by Waverly. As you can see here, I was struggling with this paint. It was too thick. I did have to add some water to thin it out. So I went ahead and brushed on some of this Waverly moss color. And I also took one of those rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree when this was dry that says welcome to our home and I went ahead and rubbed that on. And as you can see in this clip, I went ahead and bunched up the fabric around that base, which is a floral foam, I covered the whole floral foam. And I made sort of this bouquet look by bunching up the fabric and just trimming it as needed. To add more stability to this, since it was a little top heavy, I used one of these wood planks from Dollar Tree. I didn't even bother to paint it or stain it. And I just glued it to the base of the floral foam. Then I went ahead and attached this wreath charm to the center of this wheel using some hot glue and I turn it over and I use a piece of scrap felt to add more glue and secure that. I lost the footage of me making a simple bow using some striped ribbon as well as some jute ribbon. And I created a simple bow and just glued it to the front of that floral foam over the fabric. And here is the finished look. I think it came out amazing, better than I expected. This was a super fun and easy project to make. And again, I didn't know which direction this was going to go, but I think it came out super cute and I'm very pleased. Here's the final look at all the projects that I created in this video. Simple farmhouse everyday decor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not yet subscribed and you enjoyed my content, please hit that red subscribe button so that you can continue to see more of my DIYs and hauls. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your support and hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.